A cheap and plentiful material is sparking a battery revolution. Startups are scrambling to make new batteries with it, hoping to give electric vehicles an edge in the market. Most EVs today use lithium-ion batteries that contain lithium, cobalt, manganese, and high-grade nickel. They have a lot of juice, but also a lot of cost. That's why a new contender has entered the ring, sodium-ion batteries. While they are young, they have what it takes to give lithium-ion batteries a run for their money. Indeed, the appearance of sodium batteries has made a big revolution in the EV manufacturing industry. Despite suggestions that it's a step back in terms of performance, sodium ion technology could become dominant in the future as a cheaper, safer, and greener option. Its commercialization rate is nothing to scoff at either, as it far exceeds that of previous batteries. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of these two batteries, and how optimized are their features for this competition? Join us in today's episode of Tesla Car World as we compare these battery cells and see whether or not the saltier one will prevail. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about everything, you guessed it, Tesla. Before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get into it. Today, lithium ion batteries dominate the market, but demand for the critical minerals needed to make lithium ion batteries is predicted to outstrip strip supply. In contrast, although still in its infancy, the market for sodium ion batteries is expected to be worth over $11 billion by 2033. Sodium ion batteries may not go as far as lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles, but they have some advantages that make them worthy of racing. For example, they are cheaper, more abundant, and less likely to catch fire. That's a win-win-win situation, don't you think? So, what is the difference in price between these two batteries? If you're looking for a cheap and cheerful way to power your gadgets in 2023, you might want to consider sodium-ion batteries. These batteries use sodium instead of lithium to store and deliver electricity, and they have some advantages over their more popular cousins. For starters, sodium is much more abundant and eco-friendly than lithium, which is becoming scarce and expensive due to high demand. In fact, lithium prices have skyrocketed by over 700% since 2021 thanks to the growing appetite for batteries. Sodium, on the other hand, can be easily extracted from seawater, which covers most of the planet, and that's a lot of potential power. Another benefit of sodium-ion batteries is that they are safer than lithium-ion batteries, which can overheat and catch fire if damaged or poorly designed. Sodium-ion batteries are more stable and less flammable, which means you don't have to worry about your phone exploding in your pocket or your car bursting into flames on the highway, which is a really big relief. Of course, sodium-ion batteries are not perfect. They still have some challenges to overcome before they can compete with lithium-ion batteries in terms of performance and durability. For example, sodium-ion batteries have lower energy density and shorter cycle life than lithium-ion batteries, which means they can store less energy and last for fewer charges. This is partly due to the different materials used for the electrode and electrolytes in the batteries, which affect how well they can hold and release sodium ions. One of the main differences between sodium ion and lithium ion batteries is the cathode material, which is where the sodium or lithium ions are stored. Lithium ion batteries use various combinations of metals like cobalt, nickel, manganese, iron, and phosphorus for their cathodes, while sodium ion batteries only use sodium. This makes sodium ion batteries cheaper and simpler to make, but also less efficient and versatile. Another difference is the price of the batteries across the different regions. China has the lowest prices on average because it produces most of the battery cells and cathode materials in the world. The rest of Asia Pacifica has the highest prices because it imports most of its battery components from China. This means that depending on where you live, you might pay more or less for your sodium ion or lithium ion battery. So what does this all mean for you as a consumer? Well, it depends on what you need your battery for. If you want a high performance battery that can power your electric car or laptop for a long time, you might want to stick with lithium ion batteries for now. But if you want a low cost battery 
battery that can power your phone or flashlight for a short time, you might want to give sodium ion batteries a try. They might not be as flashy as lithium ion batteries, but they are certainly more salty. In contrast, sodium ion batteries are cheaper than lithium due to the abundant availability of sodium supply and lower extraction and purification costs. Sodium is a much more abundant and cheaper material than lithium, making it a more sustainable option. It can help automotive manufacturers alleviate the dawning lithium supply shortage. The volatility in lithium prices and the steadily increasing demand have opened the door for sodium ion batteries. It's considered a good alternative to relieve that pressure. Unlike lithium, sodium can be produced from an abundant material, salt. And because the raw ingredients are cheap and widely available, there's a potential for sodium ion batteries to be significantly less expensive than their lithium ion counterparts if more companies start making more of them. So which battery types will Tesla utilize in the future? We found that uh, we can actually use table salt, uh, sodium chloride. This is, nobody's done this before. I, to the best of my knowledge, nobody's done this. As we move towards a greener future, we need better ways to store energy. Tesla is already selling Megapacks, which are giant batteries that can power a small town, for $2 million each. But these use lithium ion technology, which is expensive and not very eco-friendly. What if there was a cheaper and cleaner alternative? Well, researchers at the University of Sydney in Australia have developed a new battery using sodium sulfur, a type of salt that can be extracted from seawater. This battery can hold four times more energy than lithium ion batteries and costs much less to produce. But it lasts longer and is less toxic. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, there is a catch. The sodium sulfur battery is still in the early stages of development and testing. It has not yet been proven to work well in electric vehicles or large-scale energy systems yet. Tesla could try to use it, but it'd be a risky move. They would have to partner with the Australian researchers and conduct extensive experiments to make sure the battery is safe and reliable. So don't expect to see sodium sulfur batteries in your Tesla anytime soon. But maybe one day they will revolutionize the energy storage industry and help us achieve a carbon-free world. Until then, we can admire the Aussie scientists who are working hard to make this dream a reality, and maybe send them some Vegemite as a token of appreciation. Some experts are even working on improving the design of sodium ion batteries, making them more efficient and durable. One example is the tubular salt battery, which uses the same principle as sodium ion batteries, but with a twist. It has a lower cost and a simpler structure, making it easier to produce and maintain Maintain. Tubular salt batteries are not very common yet, but they could be a viable alternative to the Tesla Powerwall, which relies on lithium-ion technology. Speaking of Tesla, Elon Musk is not one to miss an opportunity. He has his eyes set on the sodium-ion battery market, and he's planning to build a new factory in Shanghai, China. The factory will start construction in the third quarter of this year and begin production in the second quarter of 2024. It'll produce a massive energy storage battery called the Megapack, which will have a capacity of 10 thousand units per year and will be sold worldwide. The Megapack will use sodium ion batteries instead of lithium ion, giving it an edge over its competitors. But how competitive is the capacity of those battery types? When it comes to batteries, we are definitely interested in longevity as well as capacity. After all, these two concepts go hand in hand, sort of like how my phone used to only take an hour and a half to charge to 100%. But now, after three to four years of continuous use, that charge time has increased to an hour 45. Of course, when it comes to sodium ion batteries, they have reported to have have a lifespan of 60 years, which is three times longer than a lithium-ion battery, which has only about 20 years. Imagine using salt water chemistry in your phone. It's crazy. But scientists have developed sodium-ion technology using a natural fire extinguishing solution. It's not affected by temperature changes from the environment and can operate at high voltage environments. This unique feature is the key to forming an ultra-thin protective layer on the anode of sodium ion batteries. The more stable this ultra-thin layer is, the longer the life of the sodium ion battery will be. I definitely wished this was a feature of lithium ion since, well, let's just say Samsung smartphones haven't gotten the best reputation for their batteries. Moreover, a longer lasting sodium ion battery design is much more durable 
durable and reliable. Its cycle will be longer with water cooling systems. Thus, the greatly extended longevity overcomes many of the major obstacles hindering the large scale application of the battery technology. Such an advantage of super long life not only promotes the feasibility and commercialization of sodium ion batteries, but also points to new development directions of next generation energy storage for wider range applications. That's in addition to producing batteries for electric vehicles. Whereas lithium ion batteries are, in essence, continuously degrading from the moment they are first used. Remember my phone battery? It's like that. This is a result of the fundamental chemistry of the battery, which gives rise to unavoidable chemical reactions which take place inside the battery during runtime. But lithium ion batteries live longer if you treat them right. How? By choosing the right current, voltage, and system for charging and discharging them. Simple, right? That's not all. The huge difference in charging time is a big factor between these two batteries. The sodium ion chemistry can charge to 80% capacity in only five minutes. 36 times faster than the lithium battery chemistry, which takes up to three hours to charge at the same level. And even after 300 charge cycles, it'll still retain 90% of its charge capacity. The advised charge rate of an energy cell is between 0.5C and 1C, where the C rate is the speed of a battery's charge and discharge. Again, the complete charge time is about three hours for lithium ion. Furthermore, for the lithium ion, you will always need 30 to 40% left in the battery, while the sodium chemistry can be fully charged from 0%. This means that charging a lithium ion battery from 0% tends to degrade the battery's capacity much faster. Manufacturers of these cells recommend charging at 0.8C or less to prolong battery life, however, most power cells can take a higher charge C rate with little stress. The sodium ion battery has at least a 3C charge discharge rate, so if a sodium ion battery is used, the power output of the battery will be stronger and the charging speed will be faster. Its technology focuses on the development of 18650 format cylindrical cells based on polyanionic materials. This technology targets applications in the fast charge and discharge markets. The range of temperatures is a very important element as well when comparing the efficiency of these two batteries. If you're looking for a battery that can handle extreme temperatures, you might want to consider a sodium ion battery. Unlike lithium batteries, which are very picky about their climate and can only work between 15 to 35 degrees Celsius, sodium batteries can endure temperatures from negative 30 to 60 degrees Celsius and still keep 90% of their capacity. That's a whopping 4.5 times wider range than lithium batteries. Not to mention, sodium batteries can also discharge much better at low temperatures. At negative 30 degrees, they can retain 80% of their capacity, and at negative 20 degrees, they can retain over 90%. Lithium batteries, on the other hand, would give up and shut down if they get too cold. They just can't handle a deep discharge to low temperatures. That's why the industry standard says that lithium batteries can only keep 80% of their original capacity after charge discharge cycles at 15 degrees Celsius. But which type of battery would be considered the safer option? Sodium ion batteries have no safety hazard and are not prone to spontaneous combustions, while battery fires frequently have been an issue that's dogged lithium ion technology. If you like your batteries hot and spicy, you might want to try sodium ion batteries. They can reach a scorching 98 degrees Celsius or around 208 degrees Fahrenheit before they catch fire, which is 1.6 times higher than lithium ion batteries that go up in flames at only 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Sodium ion batteries are also safer because they don't burst into flames easily and they don't mind temperature changes as much as lithium ion batteries do. Another benefit is that they have lower thermal runaway, which means Means they don't get into a vicious cycle of heating up and breaking down. They also have work, they also work well with a natural fire extinguishing solution that can handle high voltages and keep the battery stable and reliable. So if you want a battery that's hot but not too hot, sodium ion batteries are the way to go. Also, what is so special about the supply chain of the sodium ion compared to lithium ion? Well, one reason is that sodium has a lot more salt than lithium. And I do not mean that figuratively. Lithium is a rare and pricey metal that costs a staggering 37,000 US dollars per ton and might run out by the end of the century, while sodium can be easily obtained from seawater for a measly 80 US dollars per ton. 
and is one of the most abundant elements on Earth. That's a whopping 462 fold difference in cost and a huge edge in availability. No wonder sodium ion batteries are the new hot topic in the energy storage industry. But what's new in the structure of sodium ion batteries? Well, they work like lithium ion batteries, but with a twist. They use sodium instead of lithium. Sodium is the stuff that makes salt salty, and it's much more common and cheaper than lithium. It's also right next to lithium on the periodic table, so they have a lot in common. But don't worry, sodium ion batteries won't make your phone taste salty or catch fire. They're actually safer and more stable than lithium ion batteries. The only catch is that they are not as good at storing energy yet, but researchers are working on it. So how are sodium ion batteries developed? Sodium ion batteries are making a comeback after being sidelined by lithium ion batteries for decades. Why? Because as I've highlighted many times before, sodium is cheaper, more abundant, and safer than lithium. And the fact that some of the world's biggest battery makers are betting on it might be of some influence. Again, sodium ion batteries work like lithium ion batteries, but they use sodium ions instead of lithium ions to store and release energy. Sodium ions are larger and heavier than lithium ions, which means they need more space and weight to deliver the same amount of power. That's why sodium ion batteries have lower energy density than lithium ion batteries. Nevertheless, sodium ion batteries have some advantages over lithium ion batteries too, as I've mentioned already. So who's working on sodium ion batteries? One of the biggest players is CATL, the world's largest EV battery maker based in China. CATL announced in 2021 that it was investing in sodium ion technology and planned to establish a basic industrial supply chain by 2023. In 2022, it revealed that it would supply Sherry, a Chinese automaker, with sodium ion batteries for its EVs. CATL claims that its sodium ion batteries can achieve 160 60 watt hours per kilogram of energy density, which is comparable to some of the low end lithium ion batteries. Another company that's pursuing sodium ion technology is S Volt, another Chinese battery maker that spun off from Great Wall Motors. S Volt says it has developed a cobalt free sodium ion battery that can reach 170 watt hours per kilogram of energy density and can charge to 80% in 15 minutes. It plans to start mass production of its sodium ion batteries in 2023. But sodium ion technology technology is not only a Chinese affair. There are also some startups in Europe and North America that are working on it. One of them is Tiamat, a French company that was founded in 2017. It specializes in developing high performance sodium ion electrodes that can improve the cycle life and power density of sodium ion batteries. Its aim is to target niche markets such as drones, robots, and electric bikes. Another startup is Natron Energy based in good old California. Natron focuses on developing sodium ion batteries for stationary energy storage applications such as grid backup and renewable integration. It says its batteries can offer high power, long cycle life, and low cost compared to conventional lead acid or lithium ion batteries. It's partnered with several utilities and energy companies to deploy its batteries in various projects. What's more, United Airlines had announced their investment in the battery maker toward the end of 2022 in order to revamp their ground operations. A third startup is Feradian, which was founded in the UK in 2011. Feradian installed its first sodium ion battery for energy storage in Australia in 2022. The company says its batteries are already competitive with lithium iron phosphate technology, which is one of the most widely used types of lithium ion batteries for energy storage. Feradian also sees the future where it moves into the EV market, starting with commercial vehicles such as buses and trucks that have more room to accommodate larger batteries. It's also building an R&D D facility in the UK to continue developing its technology as well as working on expanding production with factories in India. The company says it is scaling up its production capacity to meet the growing demand for sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries are still a long way from replacing lithium ion in all applications, but they are gaining momentum and attention as a viable alternative for some markets. As the demand for batteries grow and the supply of lithium becomes more constrained and costly, sodium ion technology could offer a more sustainable and affordable solution for the future of energy storage. So which one appeals to you the most? Share your thoughts and let us know what you think in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please gently caress that like button and join our Tesla car world family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.